Bienvenido. Yo coso. Bienvenido. Bienvenue. Willkommen. Welcome to Rock Around. Hockrill Anglo-European College in Bishop's Dortford, Hertfordshire, started life as a teacher training college in the 1850s. However, much has changed over the years. It is now a secondary school, with a mix of day pupils and boarders, international and local students alike, and is the only state-run boarding school in the UK to offer the International Baccalaureate Diploma. Hockrell is a specialist language college and has built up a well-respected reputation over the years, thanks mainly to the vision and drive of one man, Head of Languages and Secondary School Teacher of the Year, Mike Ullman. Attention, à 25 mètres, il y a l'ennemi. Alors, on ne fait pas comme ça, non, parce que si vous faites comme ça, boum, la tête, fini. I think it's everyone's entitlement to learn a foreign language and we ought to make more of an effort and follow what the rest of the world, 75% of the world, which is bilingual, do, and, and that is to become as fluent as we can in at least one language. The argument that everyone speaks English is a bit of a fallacy, really. There's only about 6% of the world that speak it uh, fluently, although 25% have some knowledge of it. So this is a good excuse the English use, and we at Hockrill have managed to uh, create this culture where, uh, although we're a bit of an island in this, where speaking in a foreign language is cool, and uh, this gives me still a great... Great kick. Et après dans les toilettes, ouais, le petit déjeuner les toilettes. Et est-ce que l'ennemi bombardé? Non. non, pas de bombardement dans les toilettes. I think that speaking several languages is incredibly useful because, for one, I know that when I'm older, I can go the several countries I can go to already and be able to interact with people there and speak it properly and eventually work there if I want to. And I find it amazing to be able to talk with other people and learn things from them because they often don't see life the same way you do. When I first came there was not very much of a, an interest in languages, in fact just the opposite really. Uh, but we've managed to um, sort of find a, a culture which is an international one and now youngsters walk around in the corridors happily talking to each other in foreign languages and people find it totally normal. <laughs> Mr. Allman has showed me the um, language side of the world and now he's taught me these experiences I want to use them in adult life. At Hockrill there are a number of languages on offer. French, German, Italian, Spanish and Japanese. On top of that, most of the students from year 9 onwards learn history and geography through the medium of French or German. Hockerill was a fairly underachieving school, I believe, but Mike had this vision to introduce what we now call the bilingual section. What's the professor His achievements over the past 10, 15 years, for me, are incredible. Um, and I have so much respect for the guy, for, for his unwavering ambition and his unwavering focus in, in what it is that he's wanted to achieve. The whole place has been transformed. Mike is the driving force, I think, behind what's happened here. No doubt about that. This region of ping pong, Francais, Allemand, Francais, Allemand. On what date was this Allemand, Tim? Well, we are actually following the national curriculum in year nine. We're following the GCSE in year 10, uh, but we're teaching it through the medium of French or German. We have quite a number of resources we've, uh, we've got from France and Germany and lessons from start to finish are conducted through the French or the German language. We give them sometimes vocabulary sheets etc but basically no English is, is ever spoken and once they've got over the initial shock which lasts about 10 minutes into the first lesson they don't regard language as a major issue at all, they just get on with the history. What has he done as propaganda that has helped him, Simon? Uh, neue Uniform, Bereit. Bereit. Ja. 
you're able to have history or geography um, as bilingual lessons and that really helps you to um, think about the language because it kind of makes you forget that you're actually speaking in a different language because you're focusing on the lesson you're actually having. When you're in a bilingual lesson, you really have to listen carefully so that you actually understand the language along with the actual lesson that's going on and it really helps you concentrate and remember what the lesson's about. Dans une tranchée, il y a une ligne, deux lignes. La première ligne, c'est la première tranchée. C'était la position la plus dangereuse. Ici, no man's land. En anglais, no man's land. En français. Naturally, language will improve because they're getting more of an input uh, of French and German. But research has also shown it doesn't have an adverse effect at all on the discipline that's been uh, taught through a foreign language. And certainly, with regard to what's happened at Hockerill, the results uh, in history and geography at GCSE, which are finally taken in English because the exam boards don't allow it any other way, have got better and better. Many of the students go on and do uh, further studies at the International Baccalaureate in history and geography and obtain some excellent results. So it certainly does not, does not have an adverse effect. And one could say at Hockerill it has a positive effect on the disciplines as well. The language experience extends beyond the college. Hockrell has partner schools in various countries, including Belgium, Italy and Romania. Students have the opportunity to go on an exchange trip abroad. This is the Collège Saint-Véronique, our partner school in Belgium, with which we've been doing exchanges now since 2003. And from 2004, we've been also sending our youngsters into local shops and into the local schools to do work experience. This year I had work experience. I went to the baker's and um, I was just getting a feel for work and um, it, was, it was helping me with my language skills and everything. I had to stay at my exchange's house and so I was talking French 24-7. If you're in a family, you have to speak that language all the time. So you always, you're always getting practice, you're always improving. So it improves your confidence as well. C'est à quelle heure que les clients viennent euh, normalement? À, à midi? <laughs> if you really want to improve languages, you just have to go and stay with a family. I mean, if you count up the number of hours, you know, you're on a two-week exchange, but it actually amounts to two years of lessons. On my work experience in Liège, I got on very well with the staff. It was an excellent experience. I would not forget it. And um, I enjoyed every single moment of it. Really, you should be using the language in, in, in the proper context. And it's a little bit like doing science and not doing an experiment. If all you do is you study a foreign language in a classroom without actually using the language and communicating in the, in the country itself. Hockrell also has video conference links with its partner schools. We thought that it would be fantastic if the students could actually see their pen friends before they actually exchange. So that's what we started uh, doing at first. And I think we've got video conference now with most of our uh, schools. We have uh, managed to fund our three Romanian partner institutions with video conferencing, also a centre in France, also a school in Liège, and we hope to do the, do the same thing in Rwanda. Uh, and that gives us the opportunity to have all sorts of very, very interesting sessions of, of a curricular nature uh, with our various partner institutions. The interactive whiteboard uses cameras and sound technology so we can actually see each other and speak to each other in the classroom. So it's like you're actually being with the other class. They're right next to you. The advantage of speaking more than one language is that you feel you don't have to stick to one 
identity or one country. You don't just have one um, like, um, culture. You can be less scared about going to different countries and you could, you're more open to different people. There are many reasons why Hockerill youngsters are, are very special and uh, visitors here always note how confident they are, how articulate they are. Uh, and there are, there are several reasons for this, but we're convinced that one of the reasons is that in language lessons they have to speak the foreign language. We encourage them to communicate. It's not a, a grammar-driven course, although grammar, of course, has its place. And we think this does add to the confidence that our youngsters have. They have social skills, they are polite, they are happy children, and we think that uh, what they experience in language lessons has something to do with this. Je ne suis pas raciste, mais, mais pas quelque chose de stupide. Quelque chose que vous avez peut-être déjà entendu, ou quelque chose que vous pourriez facilement entendre. Ok, discutez. I've never nominated anyone for an award before, and, I, and it's not the sort of thing I do lightly, but I think Mike's a very, very special person. On va, on va passer... Bon, on va passer tout ça, hein. C'est lui aussi, hein, qui est là Oui. C'est sensationnel. C'est sensationnel. First of all, he's an outstanding teacher. Then he's, he's an outstanding role model. And his influence is felt not just here for our youngsters, but he's a role model for other staff here. He's also an influence on the general community. We've got adults coming in for a whole host of language classes. We, we're teaching in six, seven or eight local primary schools, and so he's a big influence on the local community as well. Dos platanos. Gracias. And I've never come across anyone who is more deserving of, of this sort of award. Très bien, Rose. Quelle, quelle participation. Il a été payé par les Serbes. Très bien. Mike has done so much more apart from being just a teacher within the classroom. As a head of faculty, he's someone that, that anybody can go to, anybody can talk to. He's very, very generous. He thinks about the, the pupils first, um, what their needs are. It's beyond teaching, it's beyond pastoral. It's just, you know, more than, more than anyone could ask of a teacher, really. Posters are ready. Mm. Right, so they'll go into registers. Talent show, we need to have that out soon as well, don't we? I believe Mr. Ullman is worthy of a teaching award because he motivates students who also have a passion for languages and he's one of the reasons that I have a really, I've built a really big passion about languages. It's actually really encouraging for all of us because it's nice to know, you know, you know you've been taught by one of the best teachers around. He inspires the students to want to do well and so, so they, they concentrate and they, they try hard because they know that he's, he's trying hard for them. Why is Angleterre entering in the war? Germany has attacked the Belgian border. Very good. I'm still passionate about what I've always been passionate about and I don't intend to change that. It's very exciting working in languages. It's very exciting working with motivated colleagues and motivated youngsters. Uh, and this is where I'd like to uh, continue to work until such time as I'm told to go elsewhere. It is uh, the most wonderful of schools to be in. It's a very unusual school uh, and when you want to start something which many schools would think is impossible at Hockerill, people say, give it a go and it nearly always works and I'd like to be part of that. Merci, Martin. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir.